Here at the Mission Cultural Center, we're celebrating our 35th anniversary of uh, arts and culture here in the Mission. This is, tonight is no exception. This is the type of event that we've been producing here for uh, those 35 years. Uh, allowing young voices to come to the stage and working in conjunction with local organizations here in the San Francisco area that are promoting uh, these young authors all over the place. And uh, with that in mind, you know, I want to really uh, recognize our collaboration with Litquake this week. How many people are here because you heard about this event through Litquake? So almost all of you. And uh, Litquake, this is our third year with uh, really amping up our collaboration with Litquake. Uh, we really enjoy the opportunity of working with Jack and uh, having uh, these types of programs come together. Last year we had uh, Alejandro Mojia and Guillermo Gomez Peña on this very stage, and it's just great to see Alejandro, at, uh, you know, become the poet laureate of San Francisco this year. So uh, I want to just present Jack here, let him come up and say a few words about the festival, and then I'm going to announce something that's happening on Saturday. Are you done? Okay. Thanks, Jason. Hi, I'm Jack, I'm the co-founder of Liquid. Uh, welcome to this evening's uh, program. This is the, uh, uh, the second event of this week here at the Mission Cultural Center, and uh, the second this week also in partnership with the Consulate General of Mexico. So uh, we're, we're all glad, very glad you can come. It's, uh, it's a very uh, top drawer, top tier program tonight of writers here, and uh, please pick up a program if you haven't already. We have another final event here at the Mission Cultural Center this Saturday as part of our Lit Crawl. Um, we do 450 authors in 86 events in three hours, and right here will be uh, poets from the, uh, the bilingual um, uh, Latino community, Canto Mundo, and uh, that's going to be a really raucous show, so we hope you can uh, come back for that. Free 8.30 Free. right here. 8.30. Free 8.30. Great. Oh, you wanted to say something? I was going to say that. Oh, sorry. Okay. Take it Great. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's really all I have to say, but uh, I do want to acknowledge the uh, support of Jason and the Mission Coastal Center here for working with us uh, basically all year on and off to put these programs together. And also uh, the, the, the Consulate of Mexico, which uh, this is our first year in collaboration. We did an awesome uh, uh, tribute to Juan Rulfo last night with a theater troupe at the Consulate, and, uh, and tonight is another event I'm partnering with them. So uh, at this time, I would like to turn the mic over to uh, Marimar from the Consulate General of Mexico. Marimar. Marimar. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias. Um, I, will do, I will do mostly English, but I'll try to do a bit in Spanish since it's my language. So thank you very much to all of you for coming. And I just want to thank Lee Quake on behalf of the Mexican Consulate of um, in San Francisco. It's, it's been a great collaboration with Lee Quake. We, we did uh, the first bilingual event last year and it was really a success and we're very, very happy to be working and collaborating with them this year again. Um, and we are very proud of having this evening two of the most critical representatives of Mexican contemporary literature and um, a member of the editorial council of the biggest um, independent publishing house from Mexico. Diego Rabaza. I will actually let Diego, with his knowledge and passion, introduce the authors that are with, with us tonight. Uh, but I just want to introduce Diego. Um, muchas gracias. Queremos nada más agradecer a, a Litquake por la colaboración con el Consulado de México. Esta es la segunda colaboración y ha sido muy importante para el Consulado tener la oportunidad de invitar a autores mexicanos y formar parte de este gran festival. Y estamos muy orgullosos de tener esta noche a dos de los más importantes eh, y críticos representantes de la literatura mexicana contemporánea y a un miembro de la casa editorial, del consejo editorial de una de las editoriales o la más importante editorial independiente de México, Diego Rabasa. Um, Diego Rabasa is a permanent member of the Editorial Council of Editorial Sexto Piso, an independent publishing house located in Mexico City and Barcelona. This publishing house has been awarded several prizes since its creation being the International Young Publisher of the Year, British Council London, in 2004, and the Premio Nacional a la Mejor Labor Editorial Cultural in 2008, Ministry of Culture, Madrid. The most important ones. 
He has published chronicles, essays, interviews, and poems in several newspapers and magazines like Reforma, Letras Libres, Guo, Life and Style, Revista Chilango, and Frente. He writes the contents for the TV show Letrero, aired by Canal 22 in Mexico, and is responsible for the cultural section of radio station Reactor in 105.7 uh, FM. And I want to introduce Diego, please.